Greetings nerdy list aficionados, and it's time to get pretty specific. We're going to be looking at the Dark Avengers. As the MCU has entered more and more phases, fans are eager to see some of their favorite plots explored. And with the essential reshuffling that occurred in Avengers Endgame, the stage is set for a new group of Avengers. While some believe this heralds the dawn of the Young Avengers, some hope that this will mean that there will be an on-screen version of the Dark Avengers. Now, The Dark Avengers come from the Dark Reign storyline in 2009, which saw the standard Avengers replaced by supervillains masquerading as them. So let's learn a little bit more about these dark heroes with our list of the top 10 superheroes who used to be a part of the Dark Avengers. Number 10, Ms. Marvel, Suspiria. Suspiria first appeared in Captain America Volume 1, number 387 back in 1991. Also, she was made fun of in a Powerpuff Girls episode. She initially had a plan to sterilize the woman of the world, make the select few who remained fertile highly powerful, and establish a matriarchy of Femazons. Thanks, 1991. Suspiria was the leader of Hammer, but got captured by the new Avengers and was sent to the Raft, but she would be broken out by Norman Osborn. And once she learned he was starting up a new roster of Dark Avengers, she volunteered. He didn't even have to ask. She took on the mantle of Ms. Marvel and remained on the team until they were beaten by the other Avengers teams. Number 9. Sentry, The Void Being on the Dark Avengers was actually pretty good for Bob Reynolds, aka the Sentry, at first, or so it seemed. He had long been struggling with his dark half, The Void. He felt a kinship in Norman Osborn when Norman confided in him about his struggles with the Green Goblin persona. But don't get too happy, because this is going to go south real fast. He would agree to therapy and try to get better control of his massive power set for the team. But it turned out that Norman was manipulating him, dosing him, so he felt he needed his approval to function. With this, his personality spiraled out of control, and he ultimately eventually fully slipped into his Dark Void persona. Even though he could kind of still be partially controlled by Osborn for like a titch, tiny bit. There was a lot here that happened. Sentry got dissolved and erased a few times. His history was recorded. It was a lot. I'm not surprised they didn't want him for the second iteration of the team. That and the fact they couldn't have him. But that's a story for another day. Number 8. Scarlet Witch, Toxie Doxy. Toxie Doxy is a more recent Marvel character who appeared in 2011 in the Osborne miniseries. She is June Covington. She was a scientist who began experimenting with genetics, eventually on herself, because of course. Initially, her intent seemed noble, but it would warp into eugenics and lots of failed experiments in other people. When she presented her love interest with the ability to cure his birth defect, he was horrified and turned her over to the police. She would end up meeting Norman and becoming his doctor, and would also end up joining the second iteration of the Dark Avengers. She would fashion herself after Scarlet Witch, although she was not really dealing in the mystic at all. She would prove instrumental in helping the Dark Avengers escape the alternate dimension they were thrown into after their defeat by the Avengers. So she would remain with the team until they returned to the 616 and then disbanded. Number 7, Captain Marvel, aka Novar, Marvel Boy. Marvel Boy debuted in Marvel Boy number 1 in 2000. He is a Kree from another dimension who ended up stranded in the 616. He is threatened by the Illuminati because he declared war on all of the Earth. So they rather forcefully, and lots of forced telepathy, explained to him the history of Captain Marvel, that being Marvel, the Kree infiltrator who decided to actively protect the Earth. This would lead to a series of plots where he would be brainwashed and manipulated. And finally, that ended up happening with Norman Osborn, who told him that he, the he being Novar, was a war criminal, and he should be who he really was. So he would join the Dark Avengers as their Captain Marvel. Novar actually had no idea that the rest of the team of Dark Avengers were criminals. He thought they were legit. And when he is told that they aren't, he goes missing. And he's not seen again for a while as he goes deep underground, metaphorically, to try to find himself and figure out just what his role is on the Earth, and also to avoid his villainous teammates. He eventually decides to tell Wolverine what his role had been, which was to capture the world center. All of this would lead to Novar deciding his role was one of protector. In fact, that was the hero name he chose. Number 6. Hawkeye. Bullseye. Bullseye's just down for anything, so of course he found his way onto the Dark Avengers. Bullseye was a huge asset in the battle against the Skrulls and the Skrull invasion, and so he would be rewarded with a position on the Dark Avengers. Osborn plans to use Bullseye as most do, as an assassin. But the first person he sends him to kill is Deadpool, and well, he can't do that. Actually, he's really unsuccessful at taking people out during this whole time. But it's Norman's fault, really. He keeps sending him to take out the A-list. He's never been able to take out Deadpool. What did he expect? I do like that when the Molecule Man turned him into water, he still tried to attack him as water. Like, that's dedication. You know who he did kill? The Sentry's wife, because that's a smart thing to do, just provoke one of the most unstable men in the universe. Norman ordered him to do this too. Told you they weren't friends. Number five, Hulk, Scar. 
Scar first appeared as a What If character in What If Planet Hulk number one in 2007, and they would, and then he would make his way into main canon with World War Hulk number five in 2008. He is the Hulk's son. Scar would join the Dark Avengers and be a powerhouse for them when it came to brute strength, who would ultimately prove to be their undoing, that is of the second iteration, as he would betray them when he found that they had not only captured Captain America, but were planning on putting the other Avengers on trial in a kangaroo style court. He was actually a double agent the whole time. Take that Norman, you don't know everything. Number four, the Scorpion, Venom or Spider-Man. Matt Gargan is actually one of the Venom symbiote's favorite hosts, he was the third Venom. Now Gargan was actually fused to the symbiote by the time he joined the Dark Avengers, he had been for a little bit. And because of the symbiote's slight fondness for its first in our narrative, but now not canonically because things have changed thanks to Kate's host, it can look like Spider-Man. And the public having seen Spider-Man in the black suit before was quick to accept that Gargan was Spider-Man, as he was introduced that way to the public. Venom is cursed by Morgan Le Fay on their first mission and loses control of himself, transforming into something demonic, and that continues on throughout. He would also exhibit other unsanctioned behavior, like fighting crime in his spare time as Spider-Man. But it's not all good, he also tries to start a turf war. Gargan would end up being very unstable by the end of this arc, and he would be turned into a pile of goo, only to be brought back to life by the Sentry, who can pretty much do anything. Number 3. Wolverine, Dakin, or Dokken. You'll have heard it both ways and people will yell at you. This Wolverine was none other than Wolverine's son. Fun fact, he ranked 6 on the list of sexiest male comic book characters of all time. There, useless fact, but the more you know. This is one of his first big arcs actually, joining the Dark Avengers, and why did he do it? Daddy issues, pure and simple. Writer Brian Michael Bendis would flat out state that it was to f off his dad. Daniel Weiss said the same thing, that it was about destroying his father's legacy. So is Wolverine well liked? Is he better liked than Spider-Man? Ice cold Marvel Universe, ice cold. He's a character who writers are really into, they'll just gush about him, how sexy and elegant he is. These are paraphrase quotes, people love him, for real. So Cyclops actually was planning on killing him when he saw him in a version of his father's costume. This was to protect the image of the X-Men. He would actually end up on both the Dark Avengers and Dark X-Men, much to the X-Men's dismay. However, he was playing all sides or both teams, because since he's bisexual, there are a lot of bi puns in there that they linger on, like pause for laughter, he said he always like playing both sides. Boom. He was actually always planning to turn on Osborne, but he is unsuccessful in killing him. Number two, the US agent. So he was used to build up some hype for the event, and even had his own tagline, evil is our only hope. However, this arc was meant to shock, like no, not Johnny. He would end up losing some limbs here, cause it was said that him being on the team would come at a cost. A metal arm is a reward, not a cost. But he would get his limbs back when they hopped into another dimension popped, were forced. The US agent was down to fight without them though, his limbs that is. Visually, he just looked good on the team. Dark Avengers worked for him given his origins as a cap villain. And number one, Hawkeye, trick shot, Barney Barton, aka Clint Barton's older brother. Barney is jealous of his brother, feeling it's unfair that he was taken under the swordsman's wing and not him. He would leave for the army and offer Clint a chance to come with him, but when Clint didn't show up at the bus depot, he left feeling abandoned, not knowing that Clint had showed up just a few minutes later. He would eventually take on the mantle of trick shot, another of Clint's mentors. Later Osborn would fake his death and place him on the Dark Avengers as Hawkeye. This was for the second incarnation of the team. Trickshot ends up getting arrested with the rest of the team but remains loyal as he feels loyalty is important and a trait his brother lacks, so take that Clint. But him and Clint would make up again in an apartment together. Healthy? So those were some Dark Avengers facts. Are you intrigued? Would you like them to be adapted? Are you going to go read the arc now? Let me know down below both arcs, there's two teams. I'm Sasha and thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you never miss a vid. And we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.